The dengue epidemic has reached a critical point in Singapore. With thousands more infected, government agencies are intensifying their efforts to control the outbreak. The number of dengue cases has reached a record high. By May 2013, several areas in Singapore were hit in the current dengue outbreak. Hougang, however, seemed untouched. 20-year-old Ang Yonghan was a single child who lived with his parents in Aogang. He had just graduated from ITE and was about to start NS. He came down with a fever, but it did not seem serious. Yonghan's condition became critical. Yi What pains me is that he's got so much aim in his life, you see. He wants to help out his father in his business. On top of that, he is a very good pool player. Once he went to Thailand for an uh, attachment, and then uh, I was told by his classmate that, oh, yeah, yeah, Yonghan actually beat everybody in pool. It's a very good talent that he has, but unfortunately, you know, we, we can't see this talent being nurtured further. Lah. Yonghan was the first dengue victim in Aogang, but he wasn't the last. NEA officers Faiza and Isa, who had just conducted a routine inspection in April, swung into action again. We found one reading at this shop house. First reading we found it in this. So there's 15 larvae. Uh, we found the breeding at this block first. It's about 15 larvae uh, inside a dish rack tray. This is one of the breeding spots that we detected. Painting was actually the lid was broken. So there's a hole on the top. We strain water, can sip shoe causing the mosquito to be inside. The density of the mosquito being was about 200 pH. We found 11 breedings in premises, three breeding on the ground. Common places, um, usually it's domestic premises, uh, inside the households like the dish rack tray, the flower pots, the plastic bins, rims. This year is much more hectic. There's a lot of cases. Usually we will handle about one or two clusters at one time. Now we're handling about three, four clusters at a time. Long. We came here a few times already, so we were quite saddened la, that we didn't manage to prevent this death. So we, we tried hard to detect more breedings to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Mm. Despite the threat of dengue, residents had mixed reactions. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dengue fever. Even though you are in the cluster? Yeah, because yeah, I think I've taken adequate protections against them. If you don't see it happening right in front of you, you you think it's not there. If the thing is your, your body is weak, means then you have a dengue uh, very fast. Uh, 
Now, anyone can be infected with dengue, and unfortunately, any one of us can be down with very severe clinical illness, regardless of age. In the next episode. Good morning, Annie. Eh? 